And you say they made it after you placed the Moonstone? Do you know why, or what it means? Does it have to do with the Snidgets? The breadth of one's knowledge can be as wide as the seas, and yet only run so deep. It's good to see you again, Doran. Did Poppy tell you about everything that's happened? She did, and I am glad to see that you are both safely returned. I did question the wisdom of sending you on a path at a time when that path was unknown at best. Deadly at worst. But the acumen of the centaurs is neither personal nor partial. The skies tell us what is to come, and often we do not know what we have seen until it has come to pass. You knew the poachers would try and kill Poppy and me. I did not know, my young friend. But I shall say that I was not surprised. It was in much the same manner that I expected our first meeting. I don't suppose you'd like to start from the beginning. I think Poppy and I could use that. Of course. I find it is often the best place to start, is it not? Many, many moons ago, I divined a series of events. Their meaning long evaded me, until you brought news of the Snidgets and their poacher pursuers. I believe the symbol created by the Mooncalves dance marks the place the Snidgets are hidden, and serendipitously, I believe that I know the very place. Please, go on. I have seen that symbol only once, on a rock face in the cliffs of the forest. You should make haste there. The Snidgets that have been kept there for so many years may no longer be safe. If you're right about this place, then we should make our way there. I shall see you there. We cannot afford to lose the Snidgets once again. Off on another adventure, are we? It's like a place right out of a storybook. got here as soon as I could. Did you see the symbol above the entrance? It's the one the Mooncalves made at the Henge. Of course Doran implied as much, but to see it up there... Could this actually be where the... Let's find out. I'm ready if you are. Can you believe it? Actual Snidgets. I'm glad we seem to be a step ahead of the poachers. It is a little strange we haven't heard anything from them. If we're lucky, they're still poring over Gran's research. There was a fair amount. We, on the other hand, had Doran to guide us. Even if the poachers do somehow stumble upon this place, we shall be long gone.
exactly wise. Greetings. I hope we haven't kept you waiting long, Doran. Not at all. Then again, it is not I who awaits your arrival. Do you have the moon with you? We do. Good. It's as, as important to what happens next as both of you are. So what does happen next? What are these pillars here? A safeguard, I suspect. There is only one way to find out. And as for how to go about that, the two of you may know better than anyone. in the darkness.
Revelio. Look at the murals on the wall. Incendio. This place must have been built to protect them. They had nothing to fear. What makes you say that? The poacher camps always felt oppressive. It's hard to explain, but the feeling was palpable. At least to me. The sense I get here is of safety and calm. Quite the opposite of the poacher camps. I'll wager this isn't the dead end it seems to be. But how to get through? Akio. Wingardium Leviosa. Incendio. Of course. How clever. 
Eva. Oh, that's a brilliant idea. Revelio.
There, there they are. Now, all that remains is to break the charm. You want us to... I only ever wanted to see them safe, which they are. You should do it. themselves and surely once word gets out of their reappearance <sighs> no harm will come to them the centaurs will see to that you have my word thank you doran for helping us to find them and to fight for them it is you who deserves the merit child you did what the poachers would never have remember that You both fought bravely today. Allow us to carry the mantle from here. If it's all right, Doran, I think I'd like to stay behind and spend a little more time with the Snidgets. Seems a pleasant enough little place. Are you ready to finish Harlow? I'm ready to finish Harlow. I received an owl from Miss... But she warned us. Precisely. Huh? I do not believe... But now we have the... We are stronger than... Agreed. Let's finish this. Brilliant. Hallow's reign ends today. Perhaps we ought to inform Officer Singer of our plans. I already sent her an owl to let her know that we were following a lead given to us by Mrs. Bickle. Are you concerned she might tell your mother? Indeed she will, but so be it. I am tired of hiding it from her. 
My mother needs to understand that I will not be safe from the Ashwinders until everyone is. I shall pursue them until they are finished, and I think she knows that. As do you. Keep an eye out. Harlow is likely around here somewhere. Revelio. I sense he is close. Where is he? I do not know. We should look around. No more. Fun. Sionai, in it, and her excruciatingly loyal companion. You two have done quite a bit of damage to my business interests. <laughs> but I must gradually give you some credit. What was once a mere annoyance has become remarkably problematic. Fortunately, I pride myself on my problem solving skills. Hmm. Are you sure you are up for a visitor? Yes, mother. I feel fine, and it will do me good to see my friend. Very well. But do not overdo it, Natsai. I know, mother.
<sighs> it is good to see you, my friend. I'm glad to see you're doing so well. I am doing better than it appears. I am only here because my mother insisted just to be safe. I was relieved when she told me that you were all right. Only because of you. How are you feeling? <laughs> well, I've had better days. But Nurse Blaney says that I am on the mend. I'm sorry, Natty. It's my fault you got hurt. What? No. Do not blame yourself for this. The moment that I saw Harlow aim his wand at you, well... You did what came naturally. I suppose it was instinct. Yes. I could not simply stand there and let you get hurt. Then I shouldn't feel guilty. Of course not. There was nothing that you... Oh. Oh my. I cannot believe that it took me this long to see it. He made a choice. Based on instinct, my father, you, my friend, are no more to blame for my injuries today than I am to blame for my father's sacrifice years ago. From what I know of him, it seems there's a lot of your father in you. That's very kind of you to say. I hope that you are right. This has all been a bit much, hasn't it? Taking down Harlow and the rest of Rookwood's lot. But we have done it. Rookwood is dead, Harlow is on his way to Azkaban, and the rest of them are on the run. A few of the dregs will still be about, fighting for their lost cause. But Rookwood's enterprise has fallen apart. Everything is safer now because of us. Because of you. Thank you, but we make a formidable team. You, my fellow traveler, have enriched my time at Hogwarts beyond anything I could have imagined. Thank you. I believe your friendship to be one of the most important in my life. Thank you for coming to visit me. It is always good to see you. What are you up to now? Just the person I was hoping to see. I see Doran finally convinced you to leave the Snidgets. If anyone can keep them out of poacher hands, it's the Centaurs. And I wanted to thank you. When the poachers ambushed us, I... It was nice not to face them alone. Of course. It's the sort of thing friends do for each other, isn't it? I suppose so. I am glad you came to Hogwarts. It's already been my best year. I wouldn't want a repeat of Hauntel Hall, of course, but I did enjoy the Three Broomsticks. Had no idea how lovely it was there. Had you never been to the Three Broomsticks? I used to spend most of my time with Highwing, and, well, I don't know how Serona feels about hippogriffs popping in for a butterbeer. Highwing's the only one I would have gone with. Or Gran, of course. Nothing wrong with that. Highwing's good company. She is. Although I am beginning to see the appeal of her uh, human friends. It was nice to talk about my parents and Gran with someone. And share Highwing. It has all been a pleasure, Poppy. Do try and stay out of trouble. Don't know that I can. We've taken on poachers twice now, successfully. I rather think you've helped me develop a taste for it. And with centaurs as allies, I might actually go looking for trouble. You and I should meet for a butterbeer soon.
You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented She's devastated. She just buried your uncle alone. I did it for her. Sebastian, Anne can't bear the thought of turning you in, but... What? Turn me in? She saw what happened. I'll give you some time to think, Sebastian. Turn me in? Sebastian, did you hear that? You saw what happened. I never wanted to hurt my uncle. I know. I can't believe he's gone. How did things go so wrong? I didn't mean it. I didn't mean to... Oh, Anne, I was only trying to help. I can't leave now. Anne needs me more than ever. You understand. You can talk to Ominous. Make him understand. He listens to you. I need to be with Anne. Don't worry, Sebastian. I shall speak with Ominous. Thank you. You're a good friend, truly. No matter what happens from here, I'm glad we met. Poor Sebastian. Ominous? What a mess. I can't believe it. After I last saw you, I went straight to Hogwarts. Before I had time to talk to Black, I heard from Anne. I rushed to Feldcroft and found her with Solomon's body. She was beside herself with grief. Part of her wants Sebastian to face the consequences, another part can't bear the thought of it. I don't want to lose Sebastian, but I don't think we have a choice. We do have a choice. What good will it do to turn him in now? He clearly regrets everything. He's not going to do anything like this again. We've both heard that before. But we also need to think about Anne. She's lost her health, now she's lost her uncle. Do you really want to take her brother away from her too? I... I understand what you're saying. Perhaps you're right. As much as I believe that Sebastian should pay for his actions, we'd only be punishing Anne as well. I hope we're doing the right thing. I'll talk to Anne. If it comes from me, she'll agree with this decision. Thank you, Ominous. You're a good friend. Whatever lies ahead, we must face it together. That I know.
Hogsmeade, here I come. Hello there. Please, uh, come in. Let me know if you need help finding anything. You have a sharp eye for fashion. Be sure to. of all the potions you've brewed. I'd like to ask you about changing the room's ambience. Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? Actually, perhaps another time. You've made marvelous improvements here. Not sure how I'd fare in a little place. How about some sightseeing? <laughs> <laughs> 